channel and thank you guys for staying tuned for part two if you haven't seen part one where i talk about starter lock essentials so make sure to watch that video after this one so this video is going to be on starter lock um accessories so i have a literal bag of my accessories so i'm gonna go through all the accessories with you uh, that i've been using for my locks um i haven't I didn't really use these accessories with my first um, two sets of blocks actually. So I'm actually trying to get back into having cute accessories because I used to use accessories on my um, on my uh, loose natural hair, but I never really used them on my locks too much. So yeah, I'm gonna get into these accessories and where I've got them from. Um, just letting you know that everything that I mentioned for the most part will be um, linked in the description below if I can find the links for them. Um, some things I've just found at like Forever 21 randomly like years ago and stuff like that. So they're probably not in stock anymore, but for the things that I can um, put a link for, I will. So the first way to accessorize your hair would be using scarves. So this one is actually like a bandana scarf. It's a silk, or not silk, it's satin um, bandana um, that I got from Amazon. So I have a couple of them actually. Let me rummage through my bag of tricks, right? I'm so lame, oh my gosh. Anyways, I have, oh no, okay, here we go. I have three different, or four different, I'm sorry, um, scarves I got from Amazon. So there's this first one, this is really pretty. And honestly, all these um, scarves I can use, um, I, I'm pretty minimal in my uh, color, my color scheme of my closet. So I can literally use all of these um, for all the colors I have in my closet. So it's very like universal for outfits and stuff like that. Here's one with a black rim. And then here is a red one. And then I have the blue one on right now. So yeah, um, I'm not great at tying um, scarves or doing any cute styles with them right now. I'm gonna try to learn how to do some. Um, probably in the future, I'll be giving you guys tutorials and stuff like that, but right now, that is not my thing. So um, I'll put a picture of how I wore the red one last week, um, somewhere over here. And then um, I have this blue one that kind of just like folded to wear as a headband. And then I have the tail just you know, in the back chilling or whatever. So yeah, using scarves, I would suggest getting, uh, you know, the satin ones so that you're also protecting your hair while looking cute. So staying in the same realm of scarves, I have all these scarves that I will be using as like head wraps. So this one is actually a head wrap. I got this from Amazon. Um, so it was, you know, advertised as a head wrap, but these scarves are from Vera Bradley. Um, I used to work at Vera Bradley a couple of years ago. So yeah, so I have a decent amount of scarves. Actually, I still have some scarves in my parents' home in Michigan because I didn't take all of my scarves with me. Every like every floor change or every time you will get a new pattern um, from Vera Bradley that'll come out, it would usually come with a scarf because you know, the patterns, if you're familiar with Vera Bradley at all, um, their patterns um, are for like their luggages, their purses, um, sunglasses even, scarves and backpacks. Like literally so many different items are at Vera Bradley to be honest. But yeah, um, so, so whenever you would have a um, new pattern that come, came out, we would get a new scarf that would uh, coincide with it so that we're basically promoting um, the new color at that time with our scarves and that's part of our uniform. So I definitely have accumulated a decent amount of scarves because I worked there for over a year and I have a drawer full of scarves. I've actually given some scarves away to my family members and to some friends 
um, to wear, you know, as they please. But yeah, I've been wearing them. I used them obviously as like regular scarves when I was working, but I did wear them every so often as hair scarves and they do work pretty well. They are pretty see-through, so they're not like thick or anything like that, which I actually like, so it's not heavy on my head. So if I do have any pictures of me with the um, scarves on or the head wrap, I'll put them in this video as well, but I don't think I have any right now. So yeah, but using scarves to accessorize your hair is also really um, easy because it's basically like keeping your hair covered and it keeps your hands out of your hair, which is a problem that I have right now. Um, I've been having hand and hair syndrome really bad. So I'm trying to use like scarves and hats and stuff like that to keep my hands out of my hair. So the next accessory is a hat. So I only have one hat. I have a big head. Um, so most hats don't look right on me. <laughs> so I got this cute denim hat from uh, TJ Maxx last week. It was like $10. Um, this is the brand, if you guys want to see, some American Needle Ink, but I'm going to put this on my head right now. Yeah, I can. It'll fit. So this is what it looks like to me. I think it's really cute. Um, I like my hats to like go low, so it's actually like shading my eyes from the sun and stuff like that. A lot of hats, um, like they're too small for my head, like stay up here and it's not cute. So I like when my hats kind of go low, but yeah, obviously a hat is an accessory. It's a very easy to just put on your head and go out the door. So yeah, I only have, like I said, just this one. Um, I don't think, I'm not a hat person, so I don't see myself like growing a collection of hats, but I know a lot of ladies with locks um, definitely love wearing their hats. So yeah, they definitely get you some hats if you're into that. Next, I have this like um, garment bag. This, this is a garment bag, it's a laundry, lingerie bag is what it is. Um, full of my headbands. So I honestly don't know where I've gotten all these headbands, but I do have a decent amount. So, and then in here are my hair ties. So I'll show you guys that later. But these are the most recent ones I've gotten. I'll show these to you since it is from, um, a Etsy store that I mentioned in my last video, so make sure to check that video out. But anyways, um, these are the headbands that I got also for my birthday. They're really pretty and they're that satin um, material. This, is their, uh, this one is two-toned, which I think is really cute because I can wear it with dark or light um, outfits. And then I got this blue one which is really pretty, like a turquoise. And then this one is also two-toned and it's the same two-tone color as my bonnet that was in that other video. So yeah, they're really pretty. Um, and then let me show you some other ones I've gotten recently. I think I got this one from Forever 21. I prefer the ones with the knot at the front. It makes it more stylish in my opinion. So I have this one from Forever 21. I also think this one, this one is also from Forever 21. This one is thicker, um, like width-wise and material-wise than my other ones. And also, I think I got this one from Forever 21 too. So this one is really cute. I actually wear this one a lot. Um, I have some pictures of my loose natural hair with this one. I really like that um, headband. Now let's show you the rest of the headbands that I do own. So have this one, can't remember where I got it, but it's probably for every 21. I got this one for uh, Halloween, it's cute little kitty ears. I don't wear this one um, at all, basically. I just got it for Halloween, but I wanted to keep it because it was so cute. And then I have um, this one, and then I have a gray one as well to work out. I'll show you the gray one too. I don't remember where I got these. Um, they probably came in a pack together, but that was like years ago. And I got this uh, as a tie actually. So I got this one from um, Walmart and it came with a matching hair tie. And then let's see, also use this black one. Um, this one came in a separate um, pack than these two because these are different material. This one's more um, silky. Um, from I think this one was from Walmart as well. Actually, no, I think I got this from a dollar store. 
anyways and then i think i got this one from the dollar store too but this one is pilling i don't know if you can see that but it's like holding on to um lint so i don't really use this one and it's also too tight so i don't use that one that often at all but yeah that is my headband collection and my hair is not looking great in the front i can just swoop on some baby hairs real quick and then you know i'll use my headbands so that's those and then next are my hair ties now my hair is a little too short to be using these cute scrunchies right now but i have them for when my hair gets longer but um this one is actually a freebie that came with my um, bonnet so that was really cute and really um, great that she sent this as well but my so this one is a, a good satin scrunchie but i also got like some other um, satin scrunchies from Walmart. It came up in a pack. Um, actually, they're not all satin either. They're not all that satiny material. So only, I think it was four. For the most part, four of them came in that satiny material. And then um, there was three, four also in velvet. Now, I don't know if velvet is not good to wear for um, logs or not. I don't know if it attracts lint, but I have them here anyways. And then I have this one. I don't know what material this is, but they're all, um, it was in a pack. Um, they're from Walmart. It was a pack for $5 and it was 10 hair ties. So yeah, and I have a black one as well in the same material as this one. And then here's that one that matched my um, headband. Um, that I also got from Walmart. So Walmart has has good scrunchies. I'm, I'm not even gonna front on you on that one. They have good scrunchies. So yeah. And then so next, um, I want to talk about um, edge control. Edge control is also an accessory in my opinion. I don't like to spruce up my edges every single day. So when I do, I feel like it makes my hair look, you know, cuter and neater and whatever. So I have a um, H the flag cotton bandana. I don't like using a silk scarf to lay down my edges Because um, I feel like the cotton kind of like pulls out any moisture from my edges, which helps my edge control um, Actually last longer because when I start sweating, I'm in Florida So I sweat a lot down here. So when I start sweating in my hairline um, the edge control starts to um, you know wear off so i like to use cotton um um bandana so i have this one haitian flag actually i have two of them and i have like a regular like red bandana as well um to these are specifically to tie down the edges so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching um, i hope you guys actually do use my links um i'm not affiliated with them at all they're not doing anything for me but um i do like the headbands i got from that black owned etsy shop um and i'll put the link in the description obviously so i hope you support her and her business um because they are really good quality items um but yeah i hope these accessories also help you figure out ways to like spruce up your uh, starter lock um, phase and your, your journey in the beginning. I know it can be kind of rough um, and I'm trying not to touch my hair as much so hopefully these also help you to not touch your hair as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. All right, bye!